Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Caroline Dahlholt and today I'm going to be filming a draw with me, which is my second one. If you missed it, there's another one up that I did. This one and that one were both based on prompts that I got from Instagram some weeks ago. Um, this one was sent in by WSNC Film and they said draw an inchworm living its best life. Um, so I, I get three prompts done in this video and I still have a handful more to do and a question to answer. I don't know if I'll get into that today or not. So this is the first of three, a uh, little inchworm living their best life. Uh, a little sun hat and a book to read and a Mai Tai or a mojito or something with a straw that cracks me up because it's about the same size, the same diameter as the little worm itself. I'm not sure why this equates as living the best life because if I think about living my best life, I'm like riding on horseback, riding an Appaloosa in like a place with a lot of grass and not very many ditches, drinking lemonade or something. but. Um, so that would be funny for an inchworm to do that. Anyways, it's, um, he's got some flip-flops too with straps that also look like little itty-bitty inchworms. The next one is from Parker Hunt. He sent in a lot of really fun ones that I'm looking forward to diving into. This first one was a family dinner with something simmering underneath. And the first thing that came to mind was quite literally just that like I was like oh I'll draw a pot of soup on a hot plate underneath the dining room table and then you know I really pushed myself creatively <laughs> I went with an alligator I um, really struggle with perspective it's really difficult for me and I really like I don't even know enough about it to alter it make it work as it doesn't work if that makes sense so this was a challenge to draw a table with things on the table and something underneath. It's, yeah, perspective. Oh, look at this rude child with their elbows on the table. If somebody's grandmother were present, those elbows would get a jabbin with a fork. <laughs> it just sounded so Southern, a jabbin. Um, anyways, perspective is difficult but I just went with it and you know it's something I do want to get better at. For dinner tonight they're having meatloaf and some mashed potatoes with a pat of butter and some peas. You gotta have one other person to make this a family dinner so unfortunately I had to attempt again to add another body to this table and make it actually sit at the table <laughs> within reach of a plate and make it look like it was all realistic sort of so as I said it's a struggle but something I want to work on getting better at. I'm currently filming a week in my life, which I'm having a blast doing. So much fun. This morning I went and checked on my sister's cat, Dixie, and she's a little wombat. I'll see if I can insert some of the footage of me interacting with her. Um, but that's included, and after that I also went and did an order with the person in front of me challenge at McDonald's for breakfast, which is a ton of fun. Uh, I had fun filming it, so be on the lookout for that next. All text I do is usually like stream of conscience, conscience, so there's not really any meaning behind it. Sometimes in retrospect, I'll look back and be like, oh, Caroline, you were obviously feeling this way when you wrote that, um, but usually it's just random. And sometimes I'll do a lot of repeats too. Um, a lot of no's and a lot of okay's and actually those are probably my top two go-to's, no and okay. Um, 
a, a woman of few words. I also love drawing alligators or crocodiles. I've never seen one. The next prompt is a really fun one that my cousin Allie sent in. She wanted me to do a peanut party. I haven't drawn a peanut since I was in fourth grade, and I don't remember why I was drawing them in fourth grade, but I remember drawing them. Not with cowboy boots and not at a disco party, but definitely peanuts. These ones have a Mr. Peanut flair. They're wearing gloves. I don't remember if these are sunglasses or not. They are sunglasses. Everything but the top hat. I didn't reference a disco ball for this, but I kind of wish I had because it looks like a stupid waffle, one of those like caramel German cookies. <laughs> but hopefully these little dust dazzle stars make it read disco ball. And all dance partners need a buddy. So here's another disco friend, not wearing sunnies, but sporting the gloves and an awesome pair of boots. It was a fun prompt. Thank you, Ali, for sending that one in. This, all these drawings I did while I was waiting for, it was filmed last week. I had like an hour to kill before the studio tour, my first studio tour ever, and my nerves were out the window, off the charts, really high anxiety. Um, I, I'm here, I'm gonna try again to attempt Parker's prompt. I wanted to, I was just, Perspective is so rough, and I just wanted to give it another try. It's still not much better, but that's what's happening. Yeah, so I was drawing this last week. I had an hour to kill before the studio tour and wanted to just kind of distract myself. So I sat in the kitchen and drew, sipped my coffee, listened to NPR, BBC News was on, and it was all really stressful, tragic things, um, which wasn't great for the anxiety, but it's good to be aware of what's going on in the world. And they did at one point, our local station played uh, the Arthur theme song. Got pizza tonight, forget the meatloaf. We ordered pizza. Ooh, we got pizza last night, Thomas and I got half lasagna, half Hawaiian with basil pizza and watched The Quiet Place 2, which was okay. The pizza was amazing and garlic knots. Can't go wrong. These folks actually have something to drink. I'm like the sorry people up above. <laughs> See if they can keep their elbows off the table. I guess with the last few minutes, I'll um, answer the question sent in by City Cat Gardens. Thank you for your question. They asked, how long have you been creating and did you go to school for it? And the answer is, I've been, I mean, I love, I remember loving to draw with crayons from a very young age. And I remember thinking that my older sister and her creations, <laughs> her, what she would draw was so cool. And of course, wanted to be like her. I remember having that desire. Uh, I did go to school. I studied oil painting at Salem College. And along the way, I also took cool classes like printmaking. And I mean, it was a fine arts degree, studio art degree. So I got um, to mess around in different mediums too. Ceramics, I love ceramics. Oil painting, anything else fun. Everyone hated color theory. Oh man, these legs are atrocious. There's, there was like no saving them. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of fun. I like the shape of them at least. I think it'd be fun to add thought bubbles to these characters. They look like they have things to say. Um, so yeah, creating from a young age and did go to school for it. What about you? If you're watching this, do you consider yourself a creative person? And if so, when did it start? And did you get formal education for it? Some of my favorite artists are outside artists who had no education whatsoever. The only ones, well, the ones that are coming to mind are Van Gogh, because I just went, you'll see it in the weekly vlog. We went and saw his exhibit, Van Gogh. Florine Stettenheimer, although I don't 
know if she had some like private lessons. Um, Bill Trailer, Henry Darger, if that's how you say their names. Um, I really like their stuff. So you don't need to be educated to make beautiful things or non-beautiful things to be creative. All right, I'm cutting myself off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Be on the lookout for that weekly vlog. It's going to be a fun one. Hi. Don't fall. Oh. <laughs> Good girl.